Hi guys, I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I am going to talk about the history of Java, what is Java and what are the features of Java. So let's get started. So talking about the history of Java we have, it was founded by James Gosling in the year 1991 with his team called as Green Talk. Earlier, the name of the software was not Java, but the name of the software was Green Talk with an extension of .gt. GT stands for Green Talk. They changed the name of the software from Green Talk to Oak. O A K. The reason they changed it because Oak is a symbol of strength. So they changed it to Oak, and also Oak is a national tree for many countries. But later, because of the many legal issues, because Oak was already owned by Oak Technologies in the USA one company, they had to change the name of the company from Oak finally to Java in the year 1995. They changed it. And if you guys have ever wondered, like why the logo of Java is a coffee mug shape, if you guys have ever noticed, if not, watch it here. So, if you guys have ever noticed why the symbol of java why the logo of a java is a coffee mug shape is because james Gosling, with his team called as green talk had been to an island in the indonesia where they saw in an island there was a coffee shop the name of the coffee shop was itself was java so they got an idea they correlated with it and finally they made the symbol or logo of the java as a coffee mug shape which is also famous today so this was the history about java so in java we have many versions we have 1.0 we have 1.1 we have 1.2 similarly till we have 1.9 which was launched in the year 2017 now the question arises what exactly is java so java is nothing but it's a programming language which is used to develop software for a common purpose now let's talk about why do we need java what exactly is java and what are the some features of java what are the features of java which makes it different from other programming languages so let's get started to talk about it so the first point of feature of java is called as it is compiled and interpreted guys before i start with my first point let me tell you guys when I will be talking about the features of Java, I will be talking about some 5 to 6 points. There are chances that you guys will not understand each and every topic perfectly. Because this is going to be my first video about Java. I am going to talk about, about each and every topic in a very, very less. In the coming part of my video, next topic, next video which I am going to upload is how Java internally works. Sometime I will be uploading some other videos. So, just go step by step if you guys are not understanding when i'm talking about the feature of java don't think anything just watch the video till end and i'm giving you a guarantee that if you watch my series of java from starting till end you guys will understand each and everything so if you guys are not understanding anything which i'm talking now don't lose hopes because that topic you will be understanding in the later part of the video or later part of the series. So talking about the first feature of Java we have is called as compilation and interpretation. Now what do you mean by compilation and interpretation? This topic I will be covering in the next topic where I will be talking about how Java internally works. For a few of the people who don't know completely about it, let me tell you guys compilation and interpretation is nothing but where they will check they will they will check each and every line of the code syntax errors rules error if while compiling only there is a some errors it will show so those are things it is called as compilation and interpretation next point it is highly secure language it has high performance it is platform independent that means whenever you are writing a program in java it will be called get converted into dot class once the dot class file is ready that program you can run it in any platform java program it is a platform independent anywhere you can learn it and java is also a object oriented programming language it means what do you mean by object oriented programming language 
any program which supports class, object, abstraction, polymorphism, inheritance or encapsulation, any program which shows this behavior are treated as an object oriented programming language. If you guys are not understanding this, don't lose hope. You will be understanding it in the later part of the series. And it is very simple because most of the syntax are taken from C++ and it has automatic garbage collection which removes all the unreferenced objects. And it is portable. As I have shown it is a platform independent that is why it is portable. It is robust and it has a feature of multitasking and multithreading. If you are not understanding, don't lose hope. You will be understanding this in the later part of the series. And it is a very high secure language. So these are the features of Java we have. If you have any doubt, list out all your doubt in the comment section. I will be answering. If you think this video was useful to you guys, hit the subscribe button down below. Subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MKT. Like this video and please share this video with any friends. If you have any doubt, list out all your doubt in the comment section. I will be answering.